The Oppo Find X8 series is soon set to launch in India. Chances are by the time you watch this video, the phones are already official. I have been using the Oppo Find X8 Pro for a few days now and I can very confidently say this is not just Oppo's most powerful smartphone, this is one of the most powerful smartphones you can buy in India right now. Now there's a lot to talk about the smartphone, there's cameras, there's features and obviously at the heart of it is the Dimensity 9400. Now there's a lot of questions from fans including myself and to answer those questions, today we are joined by Peter from Oppo. And Dr. Finbar from MediaTek. Before we begin, thanks to both of you for giving your time to 91 Mobiles. Great, good to be here. And welcome Great. to India. Yes. I hope you guys are having a good time here. Fantastic. <laughs> so, um, Peter and Finbar, Oppo and MediaTek have been collaborating for many years. Before we start with the exciting stuff about the Find X8 mm -hmm. series, just tell us what does this legacy mean to you and the partnership that you guys have been doing for many years? Uh, no, I think you're right. It's, it's been a long-term relationship between the two companies, even going back pre-smartphone days, I think, and going back to, to other product categories as well. But I think in the smartphone era, I mean, you know, we've been working with Oppo very, very closely. I think we've had a lot of success in the Reno series globally right. um, over many, many years. Um, I think last year we made some great progress in the, in the flagship tier with the Find series. That's accelerating and doing even more exciting things um, this year. But I think there's been a you know, a very close collaboration. I think there's a common focus on sort of engineering excellence to bring the best user experiences that, that we can, that sort of is common to the to the two companies. I hope you agree, Peter. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay. Anyway, the Oppo has been growing with the MTK collaboration. And then the, uh, I checked the latest news uh, released by IDC. The, luckily, we ranked the number two in India. Oh, great. In terms of volume, last quarter. So I think uh, the MTK is a very core part of our uh, the user experience. So we've been uh, investing a lot of uh, the effort to make a really good product and also improve the user experience together with uh, MediaTek. So the dimensity is kind of the edge of our user experience. And it's going to be exciting to see what you will achieve with this smartphone in the coming months. So yes, um, while you mentioned Reno, Reno caters to a different sort of audience. The Find X is going to be targeted to a very niche camera focus, gaming focus, performance focus audience and we will have to see what to expect from the brand. But you know, this device in terms of power and all the features, it is just fantastic. Yes. Um, can you tell me firstly from Peter, what went behind from Oppo to bring this smartphone to India finally? So uh, uh, we're going to uh, release the Find X8 and Find X8 Pro yeah. in India at the first time with the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. So I think uh, this, is, this, this chip is not just uh, providing just a benchmark speed. Uh, we've been doing a lot of things to improve the AI experience, also the camera algorithm, and also to provide the, the best video experience with our best of hardware and our software called ColorOS 15. So the, it, it's happened with the, the core development. Actually, the, since Find X7, so we've launched a core development uh, the program so to improve the overall performance of the whole Android system. So the, this, this, is, this is a really exceptional product in our portfolio as well. You touched upon a lot of topics, but yes, I'll come to each of one of them <laughs> individually. So um, Finbar, um, he mentioned about cameras, mm -hmm. about performance. Well. OEMs obviously want to give the best experience to the user, but it all starts from the heart of the smartphone, which is the processor, the, mm -hmm. the SOC, the chipset. Find X series, when we look at it, it's primarily to, targeted towards camera mm -hmm. enthusiasts. Just tell us the technical standpoint of what Dimensity 9400 offers in terms of camera performance. Sure. Well, I mean, to be fair here, I think to really deliver the true camera experience that the consumer experience, it requires both of us, right? So obviously there's a lot of technology and the design, the lenses, the, the industrial design, packing all of that technology into a really small um, space. But from the chipset side, I think where we focus is really in two areas, right? The on-chip image signal processing capability that can do you know, all of the calculations required for these advanced camera systems. And then more and more over the last couple of years, building out our AI capability on chip um, that really can enhance all of that camera experience for still images and for video, right? Obviously, 
video is more challenging because it's a continuous operation rather than just a, a single shot. Um, but I think we've demonstrated over the years with each successive generation mm -hmm. expanding the ISP capability and then each new generation of NPU capability for the AI processing. We're kind of delivering some magical experiences with the, with the camera now. Well, I can vouch for that because I've been using this for a couple of days now. Yep. Whatever photos I've gotten in low light, which is one of the most trickiest situation to achieve. Yep. The phone has been achieving very well. But since you mentioned about the technical part of the things, Peter, what consumers matter, what matters to the consumer is how the phone actually performs. Mm -hmm. Firstly, do you think this phone is one of the best options for creators, both amateurs or professionals in the market for whatever they want to achieve for the social media game or for their own yes. benefits? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. It's difficult to release the very detailed information yet. Okay. So the, you guys need to uh, wait for the, our global launch event next week. So they probably have to go by my <laughs> word so far that whatever I've been experiencing. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. If, if I can tease a little something, <laughs> the, we, we're here in India, as you know, we have brought a whole bunch of global creators with us this week to, to India. Um, some of them are also previewing, you know, getting access to right. this device. Have, you also got the time to Yeah, we, we were it. at the Taj Mahal yesterday, so I can say there was a lot of photography going <laughs> yes. on. Um, I think we'll see their, their summaries and their reports in the next couple of days, but I know from what I experienced personally yesterday that they were pretty excited about what they were experiencing. Yes. Great. Actually, the, uh, we designed a hardware camera lens and sense very carefully. How to make uh, the best optimization from the ultra wide angle to very very long tele zoom. Yeah. So the, we have a dedicated, uh, very specially designed uh, periscope uh, uh, lens. In fact, that was my next question going to be. But then, uh, since you're already touching, it's fine. And this is the hardware part. Yeah. And also, uh, also our system uh, with the Dimensity 9400, we do the uh, many optimization to produce the best quality of the photos and video, including yeah. the HDR video. And also we do the computational, uh, we have a computational algorithm called the Hypertone yeah. uh, system. So not only just to capture the, the sense, uh, light on our sensor, just to produce the, the photo, but also we do a lot of computational uh, algorithm on our single piece of the photos. So and when you see uh, the, our photos, it's really uh, vivid. And also it has a very detailed level of the sh light and shadows. Yeah. So you can feel it's very realistic and natural. So I think uh, many Indian users will love our photography and videos. Of course, like when we look at smartphone cameras, obviously people like to talk about megapixels and all the yeah, hardware yeah. numbers, but at the same time, there's a lot going in the background as well. And you are obviously leveraging AI, which is also powered mm -hmm. by Dimensity 9400. Mm -hmm. You mentioned telescope um, camera. Can you? Tell me about this one particular feature, which is the AI-powered telescope zoom. What is it and how will it benefit the end users? Uh, basically, you can enjoy the more than the 12 times zoom yeah. using this small smartphone. But actually, the, this quality will be very similar level as your just a typical DSR. Okay. And then, so people don't have to buy DSLR anymore. I think this will I, probably suffice. I personally <laughs> don't use DSLR. <laughs> I, I don't either. Uh, I think that's the best part about any technology. The, the, the DSLR uh, is not better than this. Okay. But, uh, many For most, still love most, most DSLR, people. But just a normal, normal users. When, when do, you don't need to carry, when you don't want to carry the big uh, DSR equipment. Well, and at least then just yeah. you can bring this. We were similar. told, we were told yesterday we couldn't even bring them to the Taj Mahal. Yeah. Everyone was on cell phone cameras. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're going to have that experience, you want the best possible experience. Sure. I think that's also because when we speak of such areas, like when you go to any national museum, yeah. when people come in with their big Bags, cameras, it's, it's probably searching. sometimes very intimidating. Yeah. But something like this, which also looks good right. and takes reliable photos, yeah. It does the work then. Yeah. So uh, Finbar then he mentioned about AI and yeah. how it's being leveraged for cameras. Yeah. But this device, not only cameras, it can also offer a, a host of other features possible. Yeah. So with taking AI forward, there's something agentic mm -hmm. AI with MediaTek. Yeah. Can you talk a bit more about that, how it helps benefit and how it helps users and what is it exactly? Yeah, I think we're just at the start of this phase of AI. So the way we kind of describe it is you know, the first phase was the more traditional AI that we see in computational photography and the stuff we've been talking about. 
Last year was the first year we launched our generative AI capabilities. So sort of 23, 24 was about generative AI features. Yeah. We see AI sort of moving into this agentic phase, and that's a big complicated word maybe, but ultimately it's just about how do we make an AI agent run on the platform that can take complex actions for you as a user. It's a capability we've enabled. It's probably going to take time for it to be fully deployed across the applications, of course, because all of these things, these things take time. But I think the power of generative AI, the power of large language models, the natural language processing that comes with a voice interface, for example, I think can do a lot more um, capabilities. I think what's going to happen over the next couple of years is the apps ecosystem on our phones are going to take on this capability more and more and do like, first of all, interpret more complex requests from the user and then yeah. take action on more complex tasks than might, might happen today. And I think that also um, benefits in terms of productivity focused features because I remember when Reno was launched, one of the best features that I enjoyed about that smartphone right, is that right. even if I use any browser, I'm not going to name the particular <laughs> browser, even Oppo's own browser, the features, the Gen AI features work across. It's not just any app right. specific. So I think this feature will also benefit and help Yes, improving yes. the overall user right, experience. Right. Do you agree to that? Right, sure, sure. So the optimization of the computing power when we use the AIGC is the critical things. Yeah. So because it's related to the power consumption and also the speed and then increasing the heat of the devices and also last one, most important thing is the quality of the AIGC result. So the, we optimize together with uh, MediaTek how to make a better uh, uh, quality without uh, uh, consuming the big power or big resource. So this is the one of the example. So to do that, we optimize like all level of the, like the system, how to uh, optimize the low level memory, how to uh, you maximize the GPU processing powers. So combining all this uh, optimization of our system, yeah. uh, uh, you can enjoy the best quality AI GC services. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. And um, you know, while before this interview, I was talking to your team and we were just trying to talk and learn more about, like I was trying to learn more about this device. I'm not a gamer, but I know people who will be purchasing this smartphone. Obviously cameras are going to be, you know, impressing them from every front, but there will be users who would also want to game on it. And the hardware definitely supports that. Finbar, I'd like to know from you, the Dimensity 9400 offers loads of technology mm -hmm. underneath, which yep. sometimes may not be known to the users, but yep. it's there to improve the experience. Yep. Ray tracing is one of yep. them. Can you um, highlight any gaming features or anything about the Dimensity 9400 that how it's going to improve the user experience? Sure, sure. I think from the gaming angle, we probably look at it from two very large directions. One, of course, is the GPU, yep. the integrator. The Dimensity 9400 has the latest uh, ARM Immortalis G925 GPU. Um, I think the benchmarks are coming out. They're sort of showing some pretty phenomenal numbers, pretty phenomenal numbers <laughs> right. in terms of performance. And that's already like, you know, multiple generations of hardware ray tracing capability. This year we add um, opacity micro maps, which is another level of like light management and shading for ever more realistic effects. So all of that is sort of, you know, baked in, if you like, to the GPU capability that's integrated on the SOC. To complement that, really, we look more than from MediaTek side at how can we optimize the overall system to improve the gaming experience? So whether that's you know, network latency, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi speeds, latencies, priority of the gaming over other applications, all of those features together, um, we sort of lump under our MediaTek adaptive gaming technologies. And we keep moving all of these suites of, of technologies forward. But that is sort of a collection of technologies to really just improve the gaming experience for the, for the consumer. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to see some pretty good good performance. And I can also yeah. confidently say the screen that Find X8 Pro offers, it's spacious, it's large. So I think <laughs> whoever likes gaming, they will enjoy the viewing experience right. in it as well. Um, just to wrap up this interview, um, gaming cameras we have spoken about, but like I said, a lot of productivity focus users also enjoy using AI. You've already touched upon AI. You both have used the phone briefly, I'm guessing. Right. So any particular AI feature that strikes you or that is very useful to your daily um, work. Uh, Peter, we'll start with you. I, and I do remember you. I really, I really love the AI remaster yeah. functions on our gallery. Okay. Uh, 
So normally, I'm not a perfect photographer, so <laughs> sometimes I need to edit some, 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 some yeah. Just effects, to get the right colors. Yeah, small things. <laughs> make uh, my ph photos more dramatic, more emotional. So, but uh, I, I didn't have a very good skill before, mm -hmm. but now the using the AI remaster, I can completely make a, like a very, like an Instagram style <laughs> <laughs> photography. So my friends, when I share my photos and video with my friends, wow. or, yeah, others say, wow, <laughs> how did you make this <laughs> photo? Yeah. Oh. What about you, Fimar? This made me happy very yeah. much. I, I would say it's in the camera area as well, based okay. on the limited um, exposure I've had so far, and I look forward to, to learning more. But even beyond just the remaster capability, I think yes. that that instant first level that you can achieve now with the zoom features, mm. with all of the camera features that, that Oppo has built in, at least based on my experience at the Taj yesterday, was like astounding. So I think uh, okay. there's going to be a lot more there. You know, in fact, I expected you to answer about the AI notes taking because you both, I'm sure, have to take a lot of meetings per day. So the AI yeah. note feature and the summary probably helps you. It definitely yeah. helps me. Yes, yes. But yeah, the camera yes. features are equally important. Um, just last bit of uh, questions from you both. Um, like you mentioned, Oppo and MediaTek have been working for many, many years. And this device, although comes at the end of 2024, I'm already excited to see what's there to come in 2025. Can you share any sort of um, roadmap, like what can we expect from Oppo and MediaTek partnership or anything just down the line? We'll, we'll continue. We'll continue to work together to deliver the like a pinnacle of mobile experiences for our Definitely. users. Especially the India, in India, uh, many especially the young people are very eager to have a new experience. So that's why also the gaming is one of the, the, mm -hmm. the most important things for, for our uh, Indian young users. Uh, they are very enthusiastic to, to have something new, something better that haven't been uh, experienced before. So I, th I think uh, we will try to find a, something new together with uh, MediaTek. And well, I can tell you very confidently there is no Jagar on the smartphone. Well, the hardware speak for themselves. The Find X8 Pro and the Find X are going to launch in India on November 21st. Keep following us in case you have any other doubts. Put that in the comments and I'll make sure that I get back to you. You're watching 91 Mobiles. I'm Abhik and I'll see you very soon.